Hey guys, in this video, let's look at optical character recognition or OCR in Python, but we are not going to write a lot of lines of code for this, but we are going to leverage existing library called Keras OCR. And as the name suggests, it uses deep learning and uh, it's actually powered by craft text detection, sorry, and CRNN models. And for the documentation, you can go to Keras OCR, okay? And uh, you can you can get uh, the appropriate documentation there. And like I said, it uses this craft, which is again a PyTorch uh, pre-trained model right there. And apparently it seems to do a great job. So let's uh, uh, test it out. Now, when I tried to test this on my local system, it uh, apparently requires the latest versions of Keras and TensorFlow and everything. And I have like TensorFlow greater than 2.0 and Python 3.6. I have an older, uh, TensorFlow that I can upgrade, uh, update I should say, but I have a GPU environment. I don't want to, I don't want to touch it because it's working fine. So let's do this in Google Colab where we can do a lot of experimentation and uh, hopefully it should be uh, accessible to you to just sign up for a Google account and you have a free GPU in the cloud. Okay, so how do we do this? Again, with a few lines of code. First of all, I just Google searched for OCR. I was like, what can I use for uh, testing? So I just searched for billboards. I downloaded a couple of these billboards. Let's see if we can actually detect some text from these uh, billboards. Okay, so where is the code? Again, I'll share this with you. Uh, it's on Colab and can I zoom in? Okay, let's zoom in so you can see things a bit better. And I am using a runtime with GPU. So because this is deep learning, so I thought I could use the extra power. And uh, I, I'll also include these two links. So. Let's do line by line. First of all, pip install Keras OCR because obviously Google Colab will not come uh, with this uh, by default. I already did this one, so it's going to say requirement already satisfied. Okay, so once you did uh, do pip install, now next, of course, we are going to import the library, and then of course we are also importing pyplot, so we can plot, uh, you know, our results or images. Okay, that's done. Now in KCR. Uh, you know, it, it'll it'll automatically download this this pre-trained model. Uh, you know the weights and everything. So just go ahead and do case. Uh, you know, import this pipeline. And again, it makes your life so much easier uh, because once you define this pipeline, then you're just going to do pipeline dot recognize and then whatever images you want to use for OCR recognition. So if you look at the entire code, it's just a few lines of code. That's it. This is this this. Uh, uh, they made this this easy. Okay. So let's run this line if we haven't already done that. Yeah, let's run that. You see how it's downloaded this H5 file, which is the pre-trained file right there. And it's also downloading uh, CRN, CRNN H5 file. So it's, this is why I say powered by these two, okay? So again, uh, if you want, you can dig into this, the documentation and everything, but if you are using, trying to use this OCR as a tool, then this, this, this should do it, okay? Now, all we need to do is uh, provide a list of images. And again, in this case, I downloaded these three images and I connected this to my uh, Google Drive right there. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, revoke access, no, what did I do? Yeah, <laughs> drive is right here. And within my drive, I saved these files in my Colab notebook and data, I believe, and I should have billboard. And all I did is just copy the path and then just got the path right there, okay? So I have three images right here, one handwritten and two billboards. Let's see how it does, these three. And, uh, and, and, and this is basically a NumPy array. So let's go ahead and look at the shape of this NumPy array once it's defined. So as you can see, this is just three um, uh, images right here. All set, this, this is gonna be a very short video. And that's because I'm just showing you the application of it and not going into details of anything that these guys have done, the amazing work. And uh, I'll leave the references. You can go and dig into this further if you want, but let's continue. So for each of these uh, uh, images in the list, it actually goes through one by one and it just does the prediction, uh, prediction right there. And there you go, that's it. Once you have that, you can uh, go ahead and predict your, uh, uh, I mean, go ahead and plot these uh, predictions. So let's run this and this should be, these are large images, but still it should be, uh, I tested this on images of different sizes 
you know, uh, earlier in a different notebook, and it seems to be doing a decent job. So this is this is uh, uh, this is pretty good. Kudos to the guys who did all the work. But you can see uh, right there. Let's scroll down a bit. So let's look at this. So this is a billboard less than even the number two percent businesses of last from the last year used billboards and ear right there. This is an amazing job. In fact, I've never seen anything that got everything correct. Maybe this one, uh, clear channel. Oh, it's got the small text. You see how it's doing good for larger text, smaller text, so clear channel. Believe in every, yeah, you, it broken it down into you, and then this, it got it as IVE, okay? So, uh, the, 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 <laughs> and got is fine. Everything else seems to be okay. I mean, obviously this little thing, the joy, it's actually doing a pretty good. The joy, it got it right. And uh, the number 089178, spot on, 089178. That's pretty amazing. Let's look at handwritten, which is always a difficulty. So this is an examples, but example, you see how the even here they put this in a weird way. So go ahead and test this on your own image. I mean, obviously you can stare at this for uh, for a long time, but I'm recording this video to make sure you're aware of this library, not to claim that I have anything to do with library. Go ahead and install this, and uh, this is how you can use it. And pretty much of this code is something I got from their documentation. I just want to make sure you're all aware of this because you're you know watching my videos on a hopefully on a regular basis so in the next tutorial let's cover a different topic but uh, keep looking for these amazing libraries where people have put in a lot of work that we can benefit from okay so why reinvent it if someone already did this on a uh, trained this uh, on thousands and thousands of images which will never be able to do it. So let's take their trained model and make good use out of it. So if you are into this OCR type of business, there you go. There is a great library that, that, can, that can solve your problems today. So thanks again, subscribe so you get to know about cool stuff uh, uh, like this uh, on a regular basis. Thank you.